What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and back to my showcase where I kind of share my first experience with every single fighter in Undisputed and today we're using 81 overall, Josh Warrington. Now, off rip, I disagree with his fighting style, he is an outboxer, he has had 5 or 6 head clash cuts where he has cut his opponent with his head clash in real life. That's not what an outboxer does. He's a slugger, he's a swarmer, he's a, at least a boxer puncher. They need to change that, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But if we look at his stats here, we can see 85 stamina, 83 strength, but then we see a pretty low 79 vitality. If we go across to the stat breakdown, we can see stamina recovery is a 92. His head health is a 75 and his body health a 79. His agility is an 80, accuracy and counter punching are both 86. Left hand power, 87. Right hand power is an 86. Um, punch power is an 85. And then we also see swelling resistance is an 85. And his cut resistance is an 83. Probably because he headbutts most people. So no wonder his cut resistance is so good. Now he has one trait, which is one of my favourite traits, which is punches and bunches. And that's when throwing a combination of punches, deal 3% increased damage per punch from round. But then the negative to that, unfortunately, is from round 8 onwards, recover 20% less stamina. Now, as I'm in the featherweight division, you can only but guess who I go up against, and that is 84 overall Jorge Linares, who is a freak at featherweight. He's a bit of a bully, and this was not a fight. I'm not a fan of fighting Jorge Linares, I'm going to be honest with you guys. He's really, really good, and when I'm trying to test fighters like Hopi Price or Jordan Gill or Josh Warrington in this video... Jorge Linares is not fun because you can only fight one star. Well, you know, that's not true. You'll see the real mix-up of stars throughout this fight. But it feels like you just want to run away from Jorge Linares when you know you've got a weak fight with 75 head health. This is not the kind of fight you want to use against Jorge Linares. But, hey, it's my first experience with every fighter. So whatever happens, happens. So enjoy. Jorge Linares. I hate fighting Jorge Linares. He's so quick. He is so damn quick. I've not found a way to... I felt like Jorge is still a big sleeper pick in, in most divisions. Because people just don't know that name if they're not like into boxing, I suppose. That's how I see it a lot of the time. Most people go with Garcia. Um, but oh, his speed is just insane, man. And I've not used Warrington before. Um, he's got good combinations. I don't believe they've statted him correctly personally. I will be probably, I don't know, I'll probably talk about it in the future. But um, for starters, just how they've got his fighting style laid out is just wrong in my opinion. For a man with so many headbutts in his career, they've got him as an outboxer. I completely disagree with that, but that's the style I'm going to try and fight. I'm going to try and fight a bit of both. Um, I'm going to try and fight a bit of both. Look at just the speed of that lead hook compared to Warrington's there. I mean, he's got something for Warrington's, I think, got a combination-based trait, I want to say. He's just... <sighs> Linares is just hell to fight. I, I honestly... Yeah, he's still someone that I haven't quite cracked, unless I am Garcia and able to... Um, unless I am... Like Ryan, who can like match that hand speed, but Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter punch, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. Uh, 
Uh, Jorge Linares wouldn't be too bad to fight if people didn't throw 17 punch combinations just to the body with him. Because they know he just won't gas. It's, yeah, he's he's pretty frustrating. He's a pretty frustrating person to fight, to be honest. But I reckon I can hold my own here. I reckon if I keep throwing counter uppercut to the body. It's not often that I use a counter uppercut, to be honest. Look at that combination. I think I've hurt him with... I wonder if I've hurt him already with something. Ugh. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Just try and land some combinations and move away, I suppose. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, what a punch! Another scoring shot there. Easy money. The body uppercut followed by the straight, followed by the lead hook, seems to be working nicely. Like that, you see. Body uppercut, he puts his guard down, straight, lead hook. In only a 10 rounder, taking the uh, first three is absolute key. I wish I could headbutt online, I really do. Because <laughs> then I could really get the Josh Warrington experience going. Nice combination, put that together. 
Oh, come on. <sighs> yeah, that's a clean one. I'm happy with that. I don't mind going down to that. That's a clean one right there. I'm all right with a clean, a clean rock. I'm all right with a clean rock. The second one, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, just can they figure out the combination to this safe? He's got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? Let me explain to you about a fast fight. A fast fight that's it's just like there's nothing I can f feel like I can do on the inside. Yeah, something about that he didn't like, otherwise he wouldn't have backed away. Something about that he did not like. <laughs> I'm just going to keep backing away. This might be a bit of a bitch tactic, I'm not going to lie, but against the Jorge Linares, who is winging combinations because he just won't gas, is... um. It's not something I really want to engage with, to be honest. I'll engage maybe at the end, put some combinations together, but... But, you know, look at that. Look at that. This is what I'm going to have to do against the highest rated fucking fighter in this division. There's some divisions I avoid and it, this is part of the reason because I just, it's the same fight. Jorge will not gas. He is faster than everybody in that division other than Ryan Garcia who right now I'm not in Ryan Garcia's division uh, or at least I don't always want to have to use Ryan Garcia just to maybe counter Jorge. But I'd argue even Jorge is quicker. He might not be stats wise, but this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I mean, look at my health, fifty seven percent. And I'm, I'm not, I mean, I, you know, I'm not getting tagged with tons, but I'm getting tagged with enough for it to bother me. Trying to 
answer that. Just look at the combination that he's putting together. I just... How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around us. Work the body, use tactics sometimes. Lovely. Nice check hook by him, fair play. This is, I mean, I don't know if this, you know, this Jorge, he's probably not enjoying this too much, to be honest, because I'm landing... I'm landing a lot of back foot shots like that. How do they use the spider's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst. See what I mean? Once they get in close. Because the, the speed that Jorge has, people just know that they can just put that together like that. Ah, uh, it's a real pain. I mean, you know, Jorge's started pretty um, respectably, in my opinion. Uh, but he is a nightmare to fight. He is literally... Yeah, he is a nightmare to fight. He is an absolute nightmare to fight. I need to move away. There we go. Try and get the center of the ring. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Josh Warrington on the brink now. Ah. <sighs> Uh, and there's just the lead hook, the hooks, the hooks, the hooks, the run and the lit, the hooks, the hooks, the run and the hooks. Right back into the fray. You know, I don't know if he's gassing or not. These two are the perfect dance partners. I don't know if he's gassing. It's not the smoothest fight I've ever had either in terms of connection. But I hate fighting Jorge Linares. I really do. I absolutely hate fighting him. I don't think I'm far from going down, and that's what bothers me. Yeah, look. Uh. And because you have like that, that stickiness glitch on the inside where you just, you're like, you're like stuck together. It's so frustrating. Body uppercut seem to be working nicely. How do they use the spider's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch 
They want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. It's just the body hook. It's just two body hooks in a row. Body hook, body hook. Look, look. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, this is going to be grim. I'm going to base how I act in the 10th round off these predictor scorecards. It could be stupid, but that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. And I'm up, so I'm going to have to try and win the fucking round. I'm only up by one, though, which is frustrating. I thought I would have won that last round. This is not this guy's first fight with Jorge either. You can tell. I've fought some first time of Jorge's. This ain't a first time of Jorge. Look at that. Ah, I hate that. That's probably the worst. That This is the worst thing about this game, is that stickiness on the inside. That is like one thing I'll always give the game grief about. I don't know if it's an accidental or if they've programmed it like that, but when you get stuck on there's nothing worse than getting stuck on the inside. It only benefits inside fighters. Look, just fucking swing and hook us like that. Oh, my God. A draw. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Wow, look at that, that third judge. He didn't know what he was on about. That was a tough one. That was a tough fight. Jorge is a nightmare to fight. Um, yeah, he's a nightmare to fight. But I mixed it up nicely with the jabs, the straights, the hooks, and the uppercuts, and the power punches. Uh, I don't really... Let's have a look. Could I argue with any rounds? Fair. I mean, yep, fair enough. 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 And fair enough. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't can't debate that. Uh, Warrington against... I mean, Jorge's a nightmare to fight. This wasn't this guy's first rodeo with... Uh, um, with Jorge, for sure. He, he's used him uh, uh, before, clearly. Knows his combinations. Knows his, his speed habits. Um, I thought I landed more power punches than that, to be honest. But clearly not. It's okay. Uh, all in all, a good fight. Um... Always a shame to get that ghost that ghost punch rock like at the very end. It's always annoying. Um, but I've noticed that the connection throughout the fight is now smoother for the whole fight. But the ghost punches are more often 
So I feel like they're, they're, they are like fixing one thing and then fixing the next and then until eventually it evens itself out. But across the board, 95, 95, 95, 95, 95, 95, I will take it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.